hello wordpress nerds so in this video we are going to talk about how to upload attachment in the wordpress so before jumping into the code we will need a form where we can uh, upload a file or we can have a field to upload a file so first let me show you this is my local wordpress site this is my custom plugin and if you remember all my demonstration is added into this custom plugin so we are going to use this plugin only to demonstrate how to upload file so let's open this plugin file first so this is my local repo I will open my plugins main file let me make little bit smaller and we will add a new file called image uploader we will be uploading image only but this is applicable for any uh, any file type So first of all, um, let's create a shortcut to display a form. So let's quickly add shortcode. Let's call it BWP Uploader BWP loader callback let's get rid of the sidebar now uh, i will add a form in which there is an uploader so let's copy this add it here let's make ob start as uh, the shortcut should return the value not the print so we store this in the object buffer and then we return that object buffer so let's see what is that in the in the form so it is a simple form with post method and encrypt type for the form is multi-part form data which is needed to upload a file then there is a file type uh, input and there is a submit button so now let's try to add short code into a page Let, let's call it image uploader short code publish and let's view the page and our image uploader is ready so currently it will ask for the upload image but it won't do anything because we haven't written any submission code so now let's try to 
add a submit code which catches the submission of this uh, uh, form so for that we will use add action init bwp submit form and in that function let's add a hidden field to and name bwp upload value equal to 1 so we will check this field as an identifier of the form submission so as this is the post method so we will check if is set post of bwp upload then we will write upload code so this is now a form submission catcher is ready and our code for uploading file should go inside this if condition now let's confirm if we get our data or not when we submit the form as you can see our uh, BWP upload is there and also a submit button data is also there yeah so submit button data is also there but uh, there is no file why because files will we will get inside this files global so now let's try to submit again and as you can see this is our file and this is our post data now necessary data is ready now let's upload file so in order to upload a file we have to use this function called wp handle upload so let's try to use that function and we will assign this into a variable so what is the first argument first argument is the file and uh, we got file inside which variable let's confirm again let me make this comment submit okay array of my file so we are getting files dollar file equal to files of my file so this is the first argument so let's put that over here then the second argument is override so what we need to override 
so for that let me show you what we can override so this is the WP handle upload documentation and here are the uh, arguments of what we can override and we have to specify this overrides in the name value pair so for example if you want to handle an error so you can use that this parameter upload error handler and then you can define your callback and inside that callback function you can handle your error but uh, for this video we don't need this kind of stuff uh, this is you can try by your own so for example this is to give a unique file name checker then the upload uh, error string or something for this video we need this one test form so this test form will check whether the form submission is correct valid or not otherwise our form submission will fail so basically this is the wordpress uh, stuff if you want to submit the form then you have to use this test form false otherwise your form is not going to be submitted and then lastly let's try to print our this variable first uh, we will check if the uploading is successful or not so is WP error then the then print our error okay so it, if it's not an error then print an array so it will return the path of the uploaded file so that we know where our file goes so this is the simple WordPress uh, file uploading process. Now let's try to upload file. And submit. So our file is uploaded. We are getting the path of the file url of the file and the type of the file so now let's try to access this image so as you can see our image is uploaded so now what we are going to do is if image is uploaded successfully we will display it over here so coming back to this form let's try to echo first check if no we can't do that right now for that we have to to let's say we store that image path into a database so let's try to add update option my upload image url and we are getting url inside the array so 
so now after submitting it will upload uh, update an option and uh, now we can use this option to get file URL over here so let's see get option and if this is not empty echo image src equals to C URL so whenever we use we expect a URL then we have to use escaping URL like this okay so now when we upload an image it stores the value in in the in this option and once we get this option value we will print the image so let's try to do that again let's try to upload another image So as you can see our image started displaying over here let's see the path of the image open this image in the new tab so it is going inside uploads folder current year current month and the image dot php uh, png so wordpress by default uploads uh, in in the default upload folder based on the current month and year and that is the video guys um, this is how you can upload the attachment and you can add your your validation to just upload only image or only PDF or anything you can do by your own um, this video's purpose was demonstration of this function and uh, this function uh, will not add image inside the media library it is just it will just upload to the folder so whenever you use this function you won't be able to see the attachment inside the media library for that we will see in the next video thanks for watching the video guys if you have any doubt question please write down below in the comment section